But once you try to make the ridges, the uh, the yarn, the stuffing will start popping out. Then you don't want it. You don't want that to happen. Okay. So again, stuffing. Putting you know like loosely stuffed is what how we'd like to characterize this. Loosely stuffed, so that you know your your uh, if you push it too much or try to make too many ridges, then it will become uh, very uh, obvious that you know your your uh, stuffing will start showing that it's this is this is got white stuffing inside orange pumpkin something you know and it will become like a uh, it will become visible the stuffing will become visible so we put you know sufficient yarn inside it but not over stuffed it now we leave this this at the bottom we leave it like just like this we'll show you how this this we will use at the time of making the ridges but in the meantime we'll just show you and uh, from for the top you just put another thread of yarn inside the needle and you have to close the mouth at the top you know so just there are, there are many various ways of making uh, you know pumpkin and uh, this is one of the ways that I thought looks far better than if I were to do bottom up amigurumi you can always also make pumpkin you know uh, through bottom up method which uh, I can show you in another video that I do this is that's just a different way of doing a pumpkin actually so um, this I thought was a little bit uh, better looking method because uh, these things, these, these ridges, they naturally come out in this because of the, uh, you know, you made it like a, because it's like this. So these are naturally ridged sort of thing. You, know, you just have to like uh, make sure that it's close enough. So I'm putting a knot at the end, just so that my yarn doesn't come out, which it will, most likely. So I put my, once again, hang on, I put my, yeah. So yeah, this is what I do. Again, I'll be doing the entire edge uh, like that. As you can see, the shape is already beginning to come out a little bit, you know. As you pull the mouth more and more, uh, you close the mouth more and more, the shape will automatically start showing. a little bit towards the end. So uh, we close this. Okay. So this is this is what it happens when you uh, do you know like tie the mouth together, and then you do the same thing that you did at the bottom, again at the top. So you basically don't want any sort of a gaping hole for your uh, yarn to escape. Uh, sorry, your uh, toy stuffing to get out from. So you just close the mouth a little tightly. Okay, here, okay, and as you can see the natural ridge is forming, it's already looking like a pumpkin without even trying to, you know, you just close the bottom and the front and it's already looking like a pumpkin, you know. So that's why I did it like this instead of the other method. 
I will also show you how to make a pumpkin through the other method, but I thought this was more, uh, you know, convenient and uh, naturally pumpkin looking and way, way, way quicker than the other one. So I can even use this method to make any ridged gourd if you want to make through crochet, through amigurumi. So we can, we can do if you want in another session we will do how to make like a gourd, you know, uh, instead of pumpkin, a white gourd or something like that. So that you have an idea of how this will look, you know, in non-orange shades, you know. <laughs> So this is what it is. So I've closed both the top and the bottom and now we're going to make the ridges. So basically here you take this and you put it through this, through the bottom and take the needle out from the top. Okay. And pull, 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 pull. Again, through bottom, out at top and pull. And third time through bottom out at top and pull and then fourth time through bottom out at top and pull okay and we have some the yarn is going a little short so we will close this yarn we'll use the yarn left at the bottom uh, we just sort of knot it at top and just just going to knot the at the top okay and pull it through so that the yarn comes out this will make it a little tight okay then you use this yarn which we've left over from the time we did the bottom close the bottom and you use this yarn and you make couple of more ridges okay, so you put this in you take out from the other side put the needle in and you take it out from the other side take the needle out from the other side and you then shh it's my cat he just wants fish and he's screaming for his fish so cats have got helpers I am his helper and you take it out And again, and this side, and this side, okay. So now you can see the shape is, uh, I'm going to close this yarn here because again it's becoming a little bit short. So I'm just going to knot it here and put this, you know. Here and just like this, we're going to leave this out and I'm going to cut this. Okay, so this is what basically it is now looking like. Okay, which good. And I'm going to, I'm going to do next thing I'm going to do is make the stock and just stitch it in. So, for the stock, like I said, we've taken uh, Alicia Six Fly. So just a knot here I'm going to cut it off I don't want the knot in between so again so I'm going to do a magic ring okay like I did magic ring here then you put a single crochet in this one okay single crochet one single crochet two three four This is what it will be like. Five, six, okay, seven, and eight. Okay, eight of these single crochets are there. So we put eight in these, and then we use a slip knot to join, close the loop, close the first round. And so we do this slip through and through, pull it through and through. Then we do one single crochet 
and the next one we are doing single crochet so I am going to do this for 6 times 8 single crochets in a row 6 times I am going to repeat it okay at least 6 times if not more I will just show you 6 times is what it will be there and it will, at the end of it it will look like a small little stalk actually So this is what it looks like, this is what it looks like, the bottom, I mean the back side looks like, this is what the front legs, front side looks like. So six of these single crochets in one line and then again we are going to be doing, this is the second line that we are going in, this is the last thing that we did, uh, slip stitching. That's why it's a little tight because slip stitch is a little tight. So this is the second line that we're doing. And I said we're doing six lines, right? No, sorry, this is the third line that we're doing, sorry. Okay. And now the fourth line. Fifth line. And the sixth line. Okay. So we have a small little stalk. Okay. Let's finish the sixth line and then leave the thread because we are going to be using. So, sixth line is complete. Uh, we just do single chain and then leave the thread attached. We don't cut it off. Okay, so we have a thread, long thread attached. And we're going to be put, we are going to be we're going to be attaching it like this. Okay, so this now looks like exactly how a pumpkin should look like. You see. So you use the needle again. So, this shows going to be sewing it in. Just make sure that you don't have too many, you know, greens at the bottom, visible at the bottom. attaching it now it's, it's looking like a proper pumpkin you put it back in the same place where it's come out from you know same place where it's come out from that way the green will not show and basically your stock gets attached to the front I mean the top of the pumpkin as well as the fact that it gets attached to the toy stuffing that you put inside this Here again, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna be putting it back again. In this, okay. as you can see, we know we've used no uh, hard objects, no sharp objects with anything here. This is completely soft and soft enough and hypogel hypoallergenic enough for a baby to play with. It. Okay.
and we are going to be just pulling it through and through again through and through okay and I think it's more or less attached yeah it's it's very stable now so yeah so this is what it looks like so we've we're gonna snip this off snip this off at the edge as close to the edge as possible without cutting your party push the if there's any end that is sticking out just put a push